This is about to become the UK's first teacherless classroom, where 20 GCSE students will spend the year being taught by artificial intelligence instead of human teachers. What we're attempting to do is to use AI in key subjects at GCSE, the three sciences, maths uh, and English and computer science and possibly geography. The platforms learn what each student excels in and what they need more help with, and then it adapts their lessons for the term. Strong topics are moved to the end of term so they can be revised, while weak topics will be tackled more immediately. And each student's lesson plan is bespoke to them. GCSE students have been testing out the new tech. Teachers don't know exactly, precisely what I'm unable and able to do, where the AI can just figure out just by a few questions what I'm weak in and what are my strong points and it helps me develop into a much um, smarter student. Although there won't be teachers in the classroom, there will be three learning coaches to help with behaviour and softer subjects that AI might struggle with. They're not being taught subjects by the learning coaches, but we are covering soft skills like uh, public speaking, debate, and the really important personal aspects of a person that you really want to bring out and develop and turning young people into young adults. Some people disagree and say removing teachers from the equation will harm students in the long run. Chris McGovern was a head teacher and an educational advisor to Number 10. Now he campaigns against ideas like this children will lose a great deal from that AI experience. They need to have teachers, they need to interact with other children, and that's fundamental. The problem with the AI and the computer screen is that it is a machine, and it's inert. So you're straight away dehumanizing the process of learning. It's a soulless, bleak future if it's going to be along the AI path only. Last year, the Department for Education said teachers are irreplaceable and AI could never be a substitute for teachers' professional judgment and the personal relationship they have with their pupils. This school seems to disagree. There are many excellent teachers out there, and we have many here at the college, but um, we're all fallible. If you really want to know exactly why a child is not learning, I think the AI systems can pinpoint that more effectively. Mickey Carroll, Sky News.